Hi guys, my name is Danny, and today we are going to do a short practice uh, to help wind down the day. Um, great to do before bed or just at the end of your day. All you need um, is your mat and some comfy clothing. If you want to grab a bolster or a blanket, that would also be helpful. We are going to start today's practice in Balasana, child's pose. So <clears throat> make your way down to the mat and you can have your knees in an open position to start if you would like more of a hip opener. If you <clears throat> would like to feel more of a stretch along your back, then you can bring your knees together. I am in the mood for that hip opener, so I'll bring your hips down to your heels as you allow your forehead to sink down to the mat. You can also use a block here to rest your forehead gently upon and begin to focus on your breath, elongating your inhale and slowing down the exhale as we bring today to an end and we say goodbye to the troubles and worries of our day and begin to quiet the mind and release any tension that has built up in your body throughout the day. Giving yourself this one last gift. And take one long inhale together, sending that breath, that love to a part of your body that maybe has a little bit of tension and held up. And an exhale to just release any of those troubles, worries from the day. We'll slowly bring your right hand to your left hand and feel a nice stretch from your fingertips all the way down to your right hip bone as it roots down into the earth. And you're breathing into your side body and an exhale as you melt your heart a little bit closer to the earth. Slowly walk your hands across to the other side and feel your left hip bone rooting down. All your rib cage, your rib cage peels apart for a nice long stretch. We'll come back through center as you gently walk your hands up. And we meet in a tabletop position with our fingers spread wide and our shoulders open. And your, hip, <clears throat> your hips are right over your knees and your neck is nice and long. On an inhale, drop your belly down towards the earth as you peel your heart forward and look up. And an exhale to push the ground away, gently rocking back and forth, listening to your body. Inhale, curl the tailbone up. Maybe your eyes are closed. And an exhale to round through the spine as your gaze goes towards your navel. And one more moving at your own pace. And exhale, release any tension. We'll slowly tuck the toes and start to shift your weight back as you gently raise your hips, keeping a nice bend in your knees. Your shoulders melt away from your ears. Maybe you pedal through the legs a couple of times, bending your right knee, stretching through the left, and then bending your left knee, stretching your right heel down towards the earth. And rolling through the spine, come to your plank position, and we'll come all the way down to the earth onto our tummies. 
Inhale, lift your heart up for a baby cobra. And an exhale, melting down. Interlock your hands behind your back. And the next inhale, come to locust pose. Inhale up. And exhale all the way down. And pushing back, coming to our seated position. Bring your feet in toward, towards each other, coming into Baddha Konasana or butterfly pose. And we'll take a moment here to give ourselves some, some of that uh, extra love. So begin to circle your shoulders up towards your ears on the inhale. And exhale, melt them down away from your ears. Bringing your right, um, your right ear to your shoulder for a nice little neck stretch. And circle your head down and around. Bringing your left ear. And then taking your, your right hand, bring it up to your neck and begin to massage out through the side of your neck, nice and gentle. One more breath. And then we'll reverse side, so whichever side you didn't do, get rid of all of that tension up in there. Maybe you were looking at a computer all day or We'll slowly bring our hands down to our legs and massage out the calf muscles and work your way down to your feet, the balls of your feet and your heels. See what feels good, Listen, really tuning in to yourself, checking in with what feels good right now and where you carry that tension. Okay, on an inhale, stretch your arms up towards the sky and straighten through the legs. Inhale, stretch it up. Exhale, bending forward to Paschimottanasana, the forward fold. And here's a great spot to use your block if you'd like, or if you have a strap or a tie, you can, or you keep your knees bent right here. Whatever feels good for you today. So on the inhale, find that length through your spine. And on the exhale, bring the crown of your head closer to, to your feet. Really slowing down the nervous system, preparing ourselves for a good night's rest. One more inhale here. And a slow exhale. Nice. Coming into Janu Shirshasana, fold in your your right <clears throat> your right leg and place your foot against the inside of your left thigh. And on an inhale, stretch it up. And exhale, reach down towards your left foot. Rooting down your hips into the ground. Keep breathing. Release any tension in your forehead. <sighs> One more breath here. Slow exhale. And we'll Switch sides, bringing in the left foot and keeping the, the right knee bent as much as you need to. Inhale, stretch it up. Exhale, forward fold. And maybe you try pulling the right hip crease back a little bit, keeping your hips square. A slight inward rotation of the left thigh. Hmm. 
And release any tension in your shoulders and your back. One more inhale, slow exhale as we begin to roll up, moving gently. And we're going to come into pigeon pose, uh, one of my favorite poses to do before bed. So pigeon pose, um, you can get into this a couple ways. Um, I'm going to come through it by coming through downward facing dog. So draw your right leg up towards the sky from downward facing dog, and then gently bring the knee through, um, bringing your right knee towards the corner, the right corner of your mat, and then drawing your right hip crease back so your hips are squared here, and then gently with your block or your bolster, begin to melt your heart down towards the mat. And check in with your back leg. Make sure that your, your left leg is directly towards the back of the mat, not off to the side. Come back to your breath, trying to quiet the mind and not let it wander to the things you have to do tomorrow, staying present in this moment. Focusing on the path that your breath is moving. Focusing on certain parts of your body where you can gently nudge that breath to, uh, to reach. Maybe the sound of your breath. gentle breeze or a wave coming in. Take a couple more breaths here and when you're ready, slowly come out of this by walking your hands up and coming out of the pose the way that you came in. Reversing your side. Be gentle with yourself. There's no need to force any pose to look in a way that doesn't feel right in your body. And open your heart. Melt it on down in your own time. So we open our hearts to the possibilities of tomorrow, being grateful for, for another day that we have here to move our bodies. Slow inhale together and a slow exhale as we wind down our day. And think of maybe a moment that was special today, something that we we're appreciative for. Maybe we're just grateful that, that we have this time on our mat, that we are able to do this practice together. And 
One more inhale here. And an exhale as we slowly work our way out of our pose. We are going to end our practice um, in reclined in a reclined Baddha Konasana. So you can take your boulder or your blanket and place it behind your back. And if you if you don't have that, that's that's fine. Just um, meet us. Meet me in. Um, Shavasana, corpse pose. And you can also take your blanket at this time. And we're just gonna meet on down on the earth with our palms facing up and allow yourself to just sink into the ground, supporting you. And you can stay here as long as you'd like. Maybe you take your right hand and place it over your tummy and your left hand comes over your heart. So you take a breath in, filling all the way up, feeling your tummy rise. And an exhale as your hand sinks down with your belly. Thank you for carving this bit of time out for yourself tonight and for sharing this practice with me. I hope you have a restful, wonderful night's sleep and thank you. Namaste.